Hi, I'm Pat Fraley with a brief lesson on how to put together your audiobook demo. Here's my pal and stellar audiobook reader, Hilary Huber, to help me with the lesson. Hilary? And now, the almighty demo. Like that? Very high production quality. quality. Stop, Stop that. that. Your demo is your primary promotional tool and is included in your submission for work to an audio publisher. Our experience and relationships with audio publishers have led us to suggest the performer produce their demo in this way. Your demo is comprised of four separate audio tracks. The first is quite simple. It's your name followed by the word reader. It should be done by someone of the opposite sex, like this. Pat Fraley, reader. Hilary Huber, reader. The next tracks are comprised of three excerpts from books that show your abilities at performing. How you select your excerpts depends on your abilities or special skills. Each should be no less than 30 seconds and no longer than one minute. That's plenty for audio publishers to hear how you perform. Your excerpts may include the following. One excerpt from a fiction written in the third person, which is all narration. This will give the audio publisher the opportunity to hear how you narrate, and in one of the most popular genres in the audiobook publishing arena. Another excerpt with dialogue between two characters. Most books present some sort of dialogue. Even biography or motivational books will have a bit. It's important to show that you can bounce back and forth between a couple of characters and can separate the voices. It's not like you have to be Meryl Streep, but you need to show them that you can pull off dialogue. If you have acting background, you have the advantage performing dialogue over those who don't. And finally, one excerpt which you choose based on special skills, knowledge, or interest. If, for example, you're bilingual, you may want to record an excerpt that is rich with non-English language. If you have a particular skill at comedy or performing complex classic literature, you may want to show off this skill. Also, if you have a passion for animals or a hobby that makes you an expert at anything, you may decide on an excerpt which deals with the subject you know so well. Now, where do you get these excerpts and how do you prepare them? Many performers find their excerpts from favorite books with which they're familiar. There are some websites on the Internet which have excerpts, and they're listed on the last page of the workbook. The disadvantage to selecting an excerpt from a book that the performer is unfamiliar with is that they must guess at the author's voice and the context of the excerpt. The good news about excerpts is that you can play fast and loose with them in as much as you can change a pronoun to a noun, cut them down, and pretty much make them work for 30 to 60 seconds. I like to think of excerpts for the audiobook demo as a trailer for a movie. The objective is to garner interest in the book and you as the reader. Also, when you record your demo, introduce each excerpt by saying the title and the author. For example, this is from Spoon River Anthology by Edgar Lee Masters. After that, you take a beat and perform the piece. It's that simple. When your demo is complete, you may burn it onto a CD with four separate tracks, your slate and your three excerpts. It's also important to have the tracks put into one continuous audio file and then convert it to an MP3 audio file. This will compress the demo and make it possible to submit it to audio publishers via email. This is the way the majority of them want to have submissions. Hillary's going to demonstrate what a demo sounds like right now. Here's your slate. Hilary Huber, Reader. This is from My Mother's Clone by Patricia Esselin. I am horrified. Yesterday, while I was on the phone, I caught myself sucking my teeth. Just like my mom. No, I mean, three little ones, like this. Like Morse code. Didn't Tennessee Williams say, no matter what you do, you will become your father? Where does that put me? My mother. What if I'm like her clone, and no matter what I eat, what I wear, or no matter how much exercise I do, I'm going to end up with her butt? Oh, no! This is from Young Joe, The Lost Kennedy, by Charles Forson. Rose and Joseph Kennedy Sr. received the news on August 13, 1944, that their eldest son, Joseph Jr., was dead not missing in action. There was no doubt. Joe Jr.'s plane 
loaded with 21,170 pounds of Torpex, an explosive 50% more powerful than dynamite, had exploded in the air at approximately 2,000 feet, eight miles southeast of Halesworth the day before. Upon hearing the news from the Secretary of the Navy, Joe Kennedy walked down to the sea, selected three perfect skipping stones, and skimmed them over the calm waters. This is from A Puzzling Mind by Laura Collingsway. It was a disturbing prospect. Rearrange the crime scene photos for the third time. Evelyn had cleared her desk and one by one laid the 8x10 color prints down. Tommy shot a look at Evelyn. What are you doing? They remind me of something, she said. Laid out like that, they remind me of something. She stepped back from her desk, and then it struck her. She thought of the unfinished jigsaw puzzle, which lay dormant on a game table at her grandparents' summer home in East Nyack. Listen, Evelyn, I've looked at these things one time too many. I'm gonna go grab some coffee. You want anything? No, I'll be fine. And that's it. A slate and three excerpts of 30 to 60 seconds each in length. You want to share where you got those excerpts? Okay. These are all fake books and authors, which I wrote for demonstration purposes, but that doesn't matter. It's all about giving the audio publisher an expedient sample of how you handle various genres of books. Know that you can use any excerpts from any books, as you're not selling the demo. No one's going to take issue. I would just like to suggest that you don't demonstrate from a bestseller, or a book that's been done in audio and is really well known, like Harry Potter. So those are the steps to getting your demo done. The only missing ingredient? A director. Very valuable. Know that I'm presenting a two-day event on audiobooks in L.A. on the weekend of February 28th, March 1st. During our time, we'll be covering working the audiobook market, necessary skills, submitting your demo, and we will record your demo right on the spot. You talk about help with direction. Each of your three excerpts will be directed by a different director to ensure range and unique approach. The directors, Hilary Huber, Scott Brick, audiobook producer and the most sought-after audiobook reader in the country, Stefan Rudnicki, the nation's foremost audiobook producer, and I'll be directing your excerpt that has dialogue in it to make sure all the characters separate and sparkle. We'll also be joined by talent Kata Mazur, brilliant reader who will share her award-winning approach to narrating. Information on how to sign up is on my Learn page at my website, patfraley.com. And, and thanks, thanks for, listening. for listening. Stop that. Stop that.